Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Steven's Week, the weekly update on marketing technology and customer experience. Welcome to the new show and just a small reminder, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to do so. Welcome to this new episode. Royce Royce and Intel are working on autonomous ships. That is right, it's not about cars, but ships that are fully autonomous. Um, and Intel is providing the technology that is basically the eyes and the ears of the ships. And Royce Royce has been working on this for the last decade, uh, but now they're moving ahead at full pace and Intel is playing a crucial role now to push it to the limits. Um, and at this point, they're very close to, to creating a technology that is almost ready to, to, be, to be shipped. Um, and the problem won't be technology to get those autonomous boats in the water, but the problem will be regulation. So the question is um, if regu regulators will be able to keep up with the pace of evolution. In the past, this hasn't been the case, uh, but I'm very curious to see how Rolls Royce and Intel will play a crucial role in the world of autonomous ships. Interesting evolution in the AI war between China and the United States. Uh, this week, MIT, the big university, technology university of uh, Boston and US, announced that they will open up a specific campus just to build AI and to train students to become best in the world in AI, machine learning and computer science. And they raised one billion dollars for that. And this is the biggest fundraising an, an, an school a university has ever done. Uh, but they believe that this is really necessary as AI will shape the future in the next few decades. They believe that you will need talent for that and they are willing to contribute to that and to create the best talent of the world to shape the future with AI. Uber will be going to the stock market in 2019. They're going to IPO. And uh, this week they filed a, a, a report to the Washington uh, Journal, to the Wall Street Journal, sorry. And there it was mentioned that their valuation would be $120 billion, which is almost twice as high as the current uh, valuation. So this is a big jump forward. And the question is, will it, of course, be like that? Or will it be like with Snapchat that went to market at 20 billion and before that they said it would be 40 billion but for me one of the question marks is um if you look at the you know the communication pr ethical issues that uber had in the last 12 months how big investors will react to that and how more openness in that company could transform the way that they you know act towards their customers and act towards their employees so i think that is going to be the biggest challenge when they ipo that they're public appearance uh, should be a lot better than it was in the last 12 months. Interesting evolution in US versus China. Um, you know that in China you have the big firewall, so companies like Facebook, Google, Twitter, and all those companies cannot be used. Um, and now um, Google is talking with China again to see if Google would be allowed in, in China, um, but it would be censored search, which means that some topics cannot be or should not be able to be found on Google, like things about human rights and freedom of speech, all those things that are typically related to the to the Western way of life, and that is not really in line with the Chinese way of life. Those should be should be banned from Google search, and Google, of course, can do that. But it has real issues with its employees because many employees of Google believe that this is not in line with the values of the company. And this is going to be a value test huh? because China is a huge market. Imagine what they could do with paid search in China. But at the same time, Google is always really ethical about what they do and what they don't do. Um, so this is going to be an interesting one to follow. How, what's going to you know, be the decision in this very difficult debate for their leadership team? The last few months, General Motors did quite an interesting experiment. They actually tapped into what people are listening to in their cars and they did this for 90,000 of their customers. So they didn't listen to the voice conversations, but they listened to what people listen to, the kind of music or, or podcasts or radio shows and the volume that people used to listen to that. And the reason why they did this was to better understand behavior of customers within cars because they believe the car will become the key uh, personalized advertisement platform of the world. And to personalize advertisement within a car, it's important to understand behavior of people there. And this is a first experiment for General Motors because they want to take a leading role in this new advertisement platform. And to do this, they have to learn about the behavior of their customers. So guys, this was my weekly update. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm here in the airport on my way to Dublin for a presentation on Friday morning. I hope you'll enjoy this new episode and I hope you're gonna have a wonderful weekend with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you again next week. Bye-bye, my friends.